Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be solving the Hanayama bike puzzle, which is a level one out of a possible six on the Hanayama difficulty scale. And I didn't mention this in the, the previous video where we were solving the the WU puzzle, but we're sort of into like the back catalog now of all the Hanayama puzzles. Essentially everything here, apart from the WU puzzle, is like all on the little brochures that you get when you get a Hanayama puzzle. Whereas the ones that we're going to be doing now aren't on that brochure. And I don't know whether that's because they like they don't produce them anymore or whether they're a part of a like a separate sort of mini series or something like that. But we're now onto the Hanayama puzzles that you don't really see that often. And they all seem to be the lower levels, like level 1s, 2s and 3s. Now whether they've taken the decision to take out a few of the lower levels to sort of keep a, a relatively even amount of like 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, or, or whether it's something else, I, I do not know. But anyway, we're solving the bag puzzle today and yeah, it's level 1, but to be honest, I'm really looking forward to this one. This one looks like a, an extremely enjoyable one. It looks quite similar to a similar puzzle that we've done before, which again, I'll, I'll talk about in a second. As always, our aim for this one seems to be to get a little gold circle disconnected from a, a, sh a, a bike shaped shell. We'll then try to reassemble it back into its original position. And once we've done that, we will then place it on the leaderboard with all the other Hanayama puzzles that I've done so far based on how difficult I find them or how, how difficult I think they are. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have the level one bike puzzle. And looking at this one, I think that this is going to be very similar to the also level one ABC puzzle that we've done previously. And that is because of the gap that we've got in this gold piece here. Obviously, our aim is to separate that gold. I'm going to call it a ring, even though it's not a full ring. Separating that gold ring from this bike piece. And we're going to do that using all the different grooves that are in and around and on both sides of the bike. So I'm actually really looking forward to this one. It's not going to be difficult, I'm certain of that. But I think it is going to be quite a fun one to do because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to go all around the bike. So we've come out of here, we've come over here, and it's just going to be a kiss. Oh, or maybe there's some dead ends. I hope there is actually because that'll make it that'll make it a bit more interesting so maybe we don't just go straight down there maybe we come over this side can we fit in that bit there if we can i'm not 100 percent sure maybe we go ah of course we do we come over and in there, and then, hey, hey. come over here, around here, ah, so then we probably come back through there, and maybe not. Ah, this, this is living up to expectations and more now. I mean, I like this one. Because it's not, it's not quite as simple as follow the only way through, which is a good thing. I think we must go down here again then. And then there, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We go down there. This is brilliant. I love this. Ooh, do we go down there? Ah, so we must go through there first. Jeez, that's tight. But I think that makes sense because we can. Oh, here yeah, we can. We can just get to the edge of this bit. And then we come over that gap. Then we go. Through there, maybe? I hope. 
Mm, it's flipped over and bam. Uh, so we sort of just flew out of that gap then, flip over this and up into here. This is cool. This is what I was expecting and is a little bit more challenging than I was well, expecting. So there that we've got two options. Not 100% certain where I go from here. Maybe I should have gone. No, because we can't reach down there. So we definitely come this way. Ah, so there. Yeah, that's what the little ring bit's for. So we come up there and then over the top using that gap. That's brilliant. Then we can come over that gap and into there. And then we probably do something similar in here. So, and in through there. And that bit. And up here. And then I think we are going to come over here and then separate pretty much where we started. <laughs> That is brilliant. I loved that. Absolutely loved it. So we started up here. We went our way all the way around here. I think we went around here somewhere. And then down here, around there, and then separating off there. That is a lot of fun. Obviously, we knew how it was going to work from the start, but still, this one, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Really enjoyed it. So. We've taken it apart, now we just need to come all the way around here, around here, around here, and get it back in the saddle of the bike, and then we'll place it on the leaderboard. So, let's try and undo all of that. So we come on here, we slide across that gap back there, we come down here, and then... And we finish off in the saddle. <laughs> there we go. What, two minutes we're about to go there. About, what, seven minutes to take it apart. That is really enjoyable level one puzzle. So now we'll just place it on our leaderboard. So there it is. We managed to disassemble and then reassemble the, the bike puzzle. I said before, I think there's going to be an enjoyable one. And I was right. I really did enjoy that one. It was challenging enough that so I didn't find it's not straightforward in terms of every move is like linear. There are possibilities or it's possible to not just go on the only route that's that there is through there if that makes sense so yeah it's uh, it's an easy difficulty in terms of rating it's obvious how this one solves which always helps of course and i don't think there's any point on on this one where you think oh i might never do this but it is yeah an extremely enjoyable one to do for ranking it on the leaderboard well, I mean, we're going to be fairly low down. It depends sort of how we how we approach this one. Well, we'll start by comparing it to the previous one that we did, the, the WU puzzle. Is it easier or harder than the WU? I think based on the awkwardness of the WU, I think we're going to go that the bike puzzle is easier than the WU puzzle. Is it then easier or harder than the horse puzzle? I don't think it is. I think last time we, we put the, the horse puzzle and the WU puzzle together because of they are based on each other. But now I think immediately we're going to split them down the middle and, and stick the bike puzzle between them. So there we go. That was a, a relatively easy placement. That's probably easier than doing the actual puzzle, to be honest. But there we are. We are done. We've disassembled it. We've reassembled it. 
we've placed it on the leaderboard our work is done for today and thank you very much for being here if you want to see me solve more of these Hanayama puzzles and then the step-by-step -step solutions for each and every one of them then be sure to click my face over here to subscribe and I will see you next time peace